Hey guys, you Raj here from the Brainstorm Force team and in this video we're going to learn how to create a beautiful functional scroll to top button just like this one on your WordPress website. So talking about uh, scroll to top buttons, it's probably easy to understand or uh, not hard to explain why this experience or why this button is useful to add on your website. Now if you have e-commerce websites with long list of pages, you have long website pages or General, in general, your content is long. It just uh, makes it easy for the end user to scroll to the top of the website by using this button instead of having to struggle with their scroll buttons if they are on desktop or by swiping up on their screens if they are on mobile device. It just makes up for a better experience overall. So in this video, we're gonna learn three different ways that you can add the scroll to top button on your website. Now, each of these methods have a different use case or different, I would say, uh, context for why would you use that. And I would explain the context to you as well so that you can decide which of the methods is actually the most beneficial for you. Chapter markers should already be visible on the video and they are also linked down in the description. So make sure you use them if you want to jump to a specific method quickly. Let's start with method number one. So the first method that I would recommend that you use is use the Astro Themes native functionality to add the scroll to top button to your website. Now, if you're not using the Astro theme, I would recommend that you skip to method number two directly, but let me quickly show you how to quickly add the scroll to top button when you're using the Astro theme. So let me show you how to activate the scroll to top feature in the Astro theme. I've already had it installed and I'm using the pro version. And if I scroll down, there's a bunch of pro models that I can enable and scroll to top, I've already enabled it. That's why it's showing deactivate and a bunch of other options are also activated, which are in the pro version of Astra. So it's now activated already. So I'll head to the customizer and I'll show you how to customize the scroll to top button with the features inside the Astro theme. Inside the customizer, you'll notice that the scroll to top button is already activated because we just enabled the extension or the feature from the backend. And it's the same functionality or the same button that I demonstrated in the beginning of the video in the introduction. So it's the same button. So let's customize it by going to the global options, going to the scroll to top buttons, and here are the options. So the uh, settings are divided into two parts, the general settings, which means the experience of how it appears or what functionality it does, and also the design options which means I can customize how it looks. So in the general options, you have the first option as a display on. So it's currently set to desktops and mobile phones, which means it'll be displayed on desktops, obviously, and mobile phones as well. But I have the option of changing it to only desktops, only mobile phones, and obviously the third option, which was already enabled, desktop and mobile phone devices. So I'll keep it that enabled. And I also have the option of changing the position from right to left. So if I change it, so you'll notice that the scroll to top button is on the left now. And I can also change the size of the icon so I can make it ridiculously big, which doesn't help. So I'll just revert to the original setting or make it a little bit bigger. This sounds good or this looks good to me. I can also change the border radius. That means how rounded I want the button to be. So if I gently start changing the setting, you'll notice the button goes round and round and ultimately after a point, it becomes completely circular. So I do have the option to do so as well. I like the round button, so I'll keep it at that. Going to the design options, I have the option of changing the colors. That means the color of the icon as well as the color of the uh, arrow that is inside of the icon. So I'll show you the options. So first I have normal settings. I can change the icon color and background color. So let's change the background color to maybe uh, something like this. This looks good. And I can change the icon color to maybe something complementary. Let's try to go with the red if let's see it looks good. It looks all right. And I can also change the hover colors. So specifically when I hover over the button, the button, uh, the colors will be different if I change these settings. So if I go to these settings, let's change the background color to maybe green. And uh, also the icon color to, let's go with completely white. All right, let's check it out. And as you can see, now the functionality is in place. So these are all the options that you have with the Astra theme to create and customize the scroll to top button. As I said, this is specifically for the Astra theme and you should check out if your theme uh, supports this functionality out of the box. And if you're not selected a theme and you're still deciding on which theme to use, then Astra is the perfect choice. Let's move on to method number two. So if you've spent any time utilizing or using WordPress, then you probably know that for any kind of functionality that you want to add to your website, there's usually a plugin available for that. So that is the kind of feature or that's the kind of philosophy we're gonna apply on our websites in method number two. We're gonna utilize a plugin to create or add the scroll to top button on our websites. 
And the plugin that we recommend as our first choice is WP Front Scroll Top. So it's a powerful plugin. It's a you know, easy to use plugin, and it has almost all five star ratings. So the kind of plugin it is, it offers a lot of functionality to add a scroll to top button. And we'll look at uh, the features in a second, but let me just show you what the plugin options are. And obviously I'll leave, leave a link in the description for this plugin so you can check it out yourself. So this is the approach I would recommend for most people. If you're a beginner, you're just starting to use WordPress and your theme does not have the functionality of adding the scroll to top button out of the box, then I would recommend using a plugin because it's the easiest way and it's not very complicated. You can utilize it and it's very easy to set up. So as I said, this is the plugin that we recommend, WP's front scroll top. And for most beginners, this plugin is wonderful. But if you are a little bit advanced user, you have some knowledge of WordPress, you've been spending some time, then I also have another recommendation, which is page scroll to ID. Now, this is a little more complicated plugin to set up, not in terms of the functionality. Obviously, it has a little bit more functionality, but it is more customizable uh, for end users. So what you can do with this plugin is not only create a scroll to top button, but create scroll to uh, buttons to any section of your pages. So you can make sure or you can create a button that goes to a specific heading or maybe goes to a specific section of your page or your website. And with this plugin, you can also create the scroll to the button only on certain pages or posts. So it offers some additional functionality. So if you're an advanced user, you want to check out or do some additional things with the scroll to top button, then this is a plugin that I would recommend that you check out. And also I'll leave a link down in the description for this plugin as well. But for this demonstration particularly, I'll be using the WP front scroll top plugin. So let's install the plugin and see all the features that it provides. So inside the admin area of your website, all you have to do is go to the plugin section, go to the add new section and search for the plugin name, which was WP front scroll top. And the first recommendation that you'll see is the plugin that we recommended. And as you can see, I already have it installed and activated on my website and also disabled the Astra themes functionality that we were discussing earlier. Otherwise it will cause conflicts. So let's head to the settings. I'll go to settings. I'll go to scroll top. And here are all the settings. As you can see, it offers a bunch of settings. So let me quickly run down all the settings that you have. The first thing that you need to do is enable the plugin or enable the functionality of the plugin. Otherwise, all these settings won't have any effect. I'll enable this. Next option is JavaScript async. Now for non-technical users, it just means that uh, it will load the plugins functionality after the rest of the page has loaded, which increases performance and load times or decreases load time of your website enabling a better experience for your end users, for your readers. So I would recommend that you enable this unless this, this uh, breaks the functionality as it's also mentioned here, if there are no conflicts. So what you do is just enable this if the plugins functionality is working as intended. And if it's not, just disable this. So we have scroll offset and this is the number of pixels to be scrolled before the button appears. So this plugin offers a functionality that it hides itself or it does not appear on the screen when you are at the top of the page. And as you scroll, start scrolling, it appears on the page. So you have this functionality, you can enable it if uh, you set this to a positive number, currently set to 100 pixels. I leave it at the default settings and I'll show you how it looks on when we do a demonstration. Next, you have the button size. It's set to 40 pixels or 40 pixels. Now, to be honest, I customized this because I liked a little bigger button. So I think it's customized or default to 25 pixels. So you can customize this and you can even set it to zero pixels so that uh, the plugin decides how big uh, to appear on the screen. So make sure that you just check it out and you have the option of customizing it. Next is the button opacity. So you can reduce the opacity of button and this is an obvious setting. It's set to 80%. You can change it if you like. Next is the button fade duration. So as I said, the button fades if you have uh, if you are on the top of the page. So you have you can choose the delay here on how much time uh, does the plugin wait before it hides the button. So this is where you customize it. Next is the scroll duration. So when you click the button, uh, you can be instantly taken to the top of the page or you can choose a, a time in which the plugin takes you to the top of the page. And here you customize this. I think this was default to 400 milliseconds. I changed it to 300 milliseconds. And don't make it zero milliseconds because it just generally jumps on the page and it's a little jarring experience. Not everybody's used to it. So I would recommend that you keep it at least 200 milliseconds. The next option is auto hide. Uh, this is so if you enable this, the button will automatically hide if it's not in focus or the user does not scroll near it if they're on a desktop. And you can choose the uh, duration after which the button auto hides. So you can set it to auto hide after X seconds. So if suppose the button is right here on the bottom right corner, and if I'm just scrolling here and not 
going to this section of the website, the button will be hidden after a couple of seconds. And I just, if I come down here, then the button will be displayed again. So it's a feature that I don't think is very useful, but you can use it. Or if there's something important on the bottom right, perhaps you have some ads or you have some sidebar options, then you can disable this or you can enable this option to disable or hide the button altogether. The next option is hide on small devices and hide on small windows. Now, both of these offer similar functionalities. So this is kind of the feature that you want to disable the button on mobile devices or users with small windows or small uh, screens, or if a user is resizing the window and using it on a small screen, you can enable this and then uh, users or windows with uh, 640 pixels in width or below will not see this button. The next option is hide on WP admin. So if you don't, don't want the uh, button to be appearing on WP admin pages, you can disable this or enable this option and disable the button appearing from appearing on the hide or <laughs> and disable the plugin or hide the button from appearing on admin pages. Next is hide on iframes. Now iframes are a way to display web pages inside another page. So it's usually utilized for pop-ups. And if you've embedded a YouTube video on your website, technically it's an iframe as well. So you can make sure if uh, your page is being embedded onto another pages, then you can disable this or enable this option and the uh, scroll drop button will be disabled on iframes or hidden on iframes. Next is the button style. So you can choose from image, text, or font, or some icons. So the image is fine as you have a bunch of image options to choose from, which I'll show you. And you can choose text or font also if that's the thing or that's something you like. Next is the button action. So you have scroll to top, uh, which means that when a user clicks the button, they'll be taken directly to the top of the page. Next is scroll to element. So let's say, for example, you have an important section of, on your website and you want your users to be scrolling to that section immediately. So you can set this to scroll to element and whenever then users uh, click the button, you can uh, customize these settings with uh, CSS selectors. Now this feature does require some technical understanding of HTML and CSS. So I won't discuss this in detail because if you understand uh, the basics of HTML and CSS, you probably can figure out what this means. Just to give you an idea, you can set some IDs or classes to certain uh, elements on your pages. And then once you have that element CSS selector right here, then the scroll to top button will go to that specific section of, the, of your website, not to the top. So just to make it simple, I'll keep it to scroll to top. You can also make the functionality of the button to link to a page. So instead of uh, going to the top of the page, it'll take you to another page. Next is the location. You have the bottom right, you have bottom left, you have bottom right and top left. So basic options to choose from. Bottom right is the most obvious place. You can also set the margins. So it's currently set to 20 pixels. And if you want to make sure or you want to change the position of the button to maybe somewhere a little higher or maybe a little bit to the left of the page, you can use the margin options and customize that as well. Next is the filter option. So you have a bunch of pages on your website and you want to make sure that the page or the button is available only on certain pages or posts, then you have the option of choosing only the pages you want to have uh, the button on, or you can exclude certain pages from having the button as well. So you have a kind of a whitelist option, or you can use a kind of a blacklist option. So if you use the exclude from, so if you use the exclude option, that means all pages will have the button except these pages. And if you use the include option, that means none of the pages will have the button except these pages. So just explore these options and these are available only for pages, not posts. So depending on the kind of website you have, uh, you can use this or not use it. Next is the image button. Now this is probably where you have the most fun because there are a bunch of options to choose from. You can choose any kind of buttons for your website and some are really, really fun and some maybe a little dated design, I would say, but you have complete control over what buttons you want to use. So let's explore the buttons and uh, let's see what one or which one do I like the most. I think uh, this one looks nice. And there are a bunch of other options as well. Or maybe this one looks nice, which I selected earlier. So let's keep this as our uh, design for now. But you also have the option of using a custom button by uploading the button PNG file to a media library and then selecting it. Or you can even point to a URL of an image. So that's the functionality you have as well. You can also set the alt tag for the image, which is pretty good for SEO. But since we're talking about a scroll to top button, it's not really relevant here. So let's save the changes and we'll see these uh, button in action. So inside the customizer, if I scroll down now, I can see the button in action. And this is the button that we chose from the design options, if you remember. And if I click, 
I'm taken to the top of the page. It's a simple plugin and simple functionality. And you also notice that when I'm on top of the page, the button is now hidden because obviously I'm already at the top. And the setting, if I remember, was set to 100 pixels. So if I scroll down uh, more than 100 pixels, the button starts showing up once again. So this is the functionality that I was talking about. And I hope uh, all the settings are clear to you. It's a simple, powerful plugin, and it will add the scroll to top functionality on your pages and your website easily and quickly. So this takes care of option number two or approach number two to adding a scroll to top button on websites. Let's talk about the third option. So method number three is the manual approach where we'll be taking a bit of code, we'll be adding it to our websites and that will help create the scroll to top button. Now full disclaimer, I do not recommend this method for most people and especially for beginners because you'll be making changes to your theme files, you'll be adding a bit of code to your website which has the potential of breaking your website if you make any mistakes. And also when your theme updates or some changes happen to WordPress, you might have to update the code regularly, which is a bit of a hassle. I would recommend just stick with method number one, either use the Astro theme or use the one of the plugins that we recommend. I hope you understand why I'm giving you this warning. Now to keep this video to a more reasonable length and without too much technical detail, what I'm going to do is describe the process in detail to you and also leave a link down in the description to a blog post which explains the process in a lot more detail. And once you listen to my explanation and you think you can do it, you feel like, fine, okay, I can do this. Then I would recommend that you go to the blog post, follow the steps from there, and then create the scroll to top button using the manual method. With that, let's begin. So I'm inside my WordPress website and let's start discussing the steps that we need to take to create the scroll to top button on our website. Now, since you'll be making changes to the actual code of your website, I'd highly recommend that you create a child theme for your particular theme which means that any changes we make will remain persistent even if the theme is updated in the future. And also, uh, if you break anything, you'll only break the child theme, your main theme or your actual theme will not be affected. So it's highly recommended that you do so. Let's move on to the next step. Step number one is you will have to create a JavaScript file, which is a JS file for short. And this is the code snippet that you'll have to enter in that JS file. And this behavior or this file just defines the behavior of the button that we're going to create, which means that this file or the code snippet defines that when we click the button, make sure that the window scrolls to the top, which is the behavior that we are intending to create with this button. Well, the next step would be to actually create the button. Now, since we are doing everything from scratch, we'll have to create the button asset or the image from scratch as well. Now, you can get it designed from a professional designer, create one yourself, or just go on the internet and find a website that gives you the buttons to download and legally use on your website. So that part is pretty obvious, so I'll leave it up to you to decide which method works for you. Next, you'll create a CSS file and add this code that you see on the screen in the CSS file. And the CSS file will help define where the button will be actually placed on the page. So it's very important uh, and all the things and the variables that you see on the screen, you can customize them and make sure that the position of the button is exactly where you'd like it to be. In the next step, you'll need the backend access of your website. That means the files and folders of your website. And you can do it via FTP or via cPanel if your host supports it. And what you'll need to do is go into the specific themes folder and place the JS file that we just created in the particular JavaScript folder and also the CSS file that we created in the particular CSS folder. Now you've added the CSS and JS files to your theme folders, but your theme still doesn't know that they exist. So what you need to do is go into your themes functions.php file and add this code snippet to the functions.php file. And what this code does is tell your theme that we just created this JS file and we want to include this as part of the theme. And once uh, your theme recognizes it, it will load the JS file with the theme. Next, you'll add this small piece of code to your themes photo.php to make sure that everything works correctly. And once you follow all these steps, your scroll to top button should be active on your website and it should work as intended, just as we demonstrated with the plugins. So now you can probably understand that the manual method is quite complicated, but if you're one of those brave souls who still wants to try this out, then the link to the blog post is in the description. Make sure to back up uh, your theme and also use the child theme as I mentioned. With that, we've come to the end of this video. I hope you liked this content. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up on the video. Also subscribe to our channel, hit that bell icon so that we can send you some notifications about future content that we upload to our channel. My name is Yuvraj. You're watching Brainstorm Forces YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed the content and I hope to catch you in the next video. Till then, take care, stay safe and make sure to subscribe.